in my pocket. Can I have it? No, it's not in my pocket. It's not in my pocket. I got a cuchillo, but I don't have a fucking gun. Let's crush the marijuana. Um, I would say aggressive. Mm-hmm. And not only aggressive, but I have a lot of bars that goes over people's heads. Because they don't listen to the actual words. For example? Um, there's a lot of references in Aquaman. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of references in Dewey. And there's a lot of references in demonology. But people are so overly consumed with the beat that they don't hear anything else. Unless you're an actual musician. And sometimes even then, they don't give a fuck. Because they're just in it for the money. Hmm. But yeah, aggressive. Okay. I get my anger out that way. I see that. Um, in all honesty, you, even though they're not, they'll, they'll have an idea. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah. What does it mean? Mm-hmm. I'm sweet and sour, acidic, acidic. And that's how. You created it. Mm. So in other words. I don't even remember for the longest time. That's like a leap because that's the third name. Your first name was? Sedek. Your second name was? Hank. And your third name? Don Segura. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I figured after a while, it was mainly an insecurity, which is why I switched. I switched names mm-hmm. because I was with an old group mm-hmm. and we were doing a lot of things, you know, we were actually making music the way we were supposed to, doing shows and making merch and trying to build something off of the name. Mm-hmm. But I felt like it wasn't going to work out. So as soon as I decided to leave that whole label or endeavor. Mm-hmm. I decided to cancel out Sedic because mm-hmm. that was just music I didn't want to remember. Even though I always had to understand that that's what started me. Mm-hmm. And that's what got me into music. And that was the name that I originally chose to do music. But then when I transitioned into Ink, Ink was more of a the anxiety side of the music and I made a lot of like heartfelt songs and um conscious songs Mm -hmm. songs that you could think to songs that you could shit you could even cry to Mm -hmm. whatever the case may be Mm. but that each name described a different emotion or a different part of me and I feel like this name is what makes it all a whole. Mm-hmm. I don't know where to dump this shit. But we'll clean it after. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Confidence. Mm-hmm. I was never confident before. Mm-hmm. I always used to like overthink when I had to go on stage or when I was writing music, I was overthinking on like what are people going to like? What's going to click? Mm-hmm. And technically that's forced. So anything forced is going to come out like shit. Mm-hmm. And now more organic. Mm-hmm. And I just go on whatever the hell I want to do. Instead of what people want to see me do. Because at the end of the day, I'm not going to make everybody happy. Not everyone's going to listen to my music. Not everyone's going to like me. So. Yeah. The confidence. Okay. Well, originally my motivation when I first started doing this was 
different than now. Um, it was more materialistic because the people that I were was around, that's really all they, I guess they focused on, and that's where they were. Pri that's where their priorities were. Mm -hmm. Was materialistic things. Um, as Ink, it was more of a party lifestyle and being anxious all the time and doing drugs. This, that, and the third. But now, my motivation was materialistic things when I was ascetic. And then as Ink, my motivation was just getting fucked up and partying and being worried more about partying than the actual event. Because mm -hmm. that's how one of the events failed. Mm -hmm. And I'm not scared to admit it. Now my motivation is family, stability, mm -hmm. my brother, mm -hmm. my wife. Mm -hmm. You know what I can build with this platform. Mm -hmm. And if I can build something with this platform and this could be the start. Because I'm not going to lie like all these other people and say, if I do music, all I'm going to do is be doing music. Mm -hmm. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck that. I'm not going to be doing only music. Mm -hmm. I'll do whatever the hell I want. As long as I keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. And that's my motivation. I feel like now I can do anything. Opposed to materialistic things only motivate you to a certain extent. Um, I see myself owning a label, well, running a label, because I really don't want to sign to anybody unless it's like, well, when the time comes, whenever it does come along, I don't want to sign to somebody as an artist. I want to sign to someone as like a partnership deal, how like labels have it, mm -hmm. where I can have my own artist and I can give back to people own businesses the, through my music that mm -hmm. helps other people do music that lets other people actually accomplish their dreams because I don't remember I can't remember how many times because there's been so many that people have told me no mm -hmm. all the time mm -hmm. all the fucking time no 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 or the price is too high or it's unavailable or they just don't f fuck with it mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what the fuck would I care? Okay. The same way people use it as a term of endearment is the same way people use bro as a violent term. Mm -hmm. Or cunt. Or bitch. Or dead ass. Yeah. Okay. Like, you, oh, that's my bitch. Mm -hmm. I can say a derogatory term to a female, mm -hmm. but I can't say that's my nigga. Mm -hmm. It's the same fucking thing. Mm -hmm. it's, people use, it's just people think of it as, oh, he has a very, very, very light skin tone. Mm -hmm. So he can't say it. But little do you know, I speak fluent Spanish. And I can tell you that I'm fucking Puerto Rican and Dominican and you fucking believe it. Mm -hmm. And I could be fucking Irish. Mm -hmm. But I'm not. Mm. What do you mean? From where? Where I first grew up? Mm -hmm. Fucking Masmouth. Goon SV Lucci mm -hmm. Bowder mm -hmm. Who else? Your from Queens? Yeah There you go I didn't know she was from Queens. Yeah, she is from Queens. Fuck. <laughs> um, P. 
people that are out now, I would say, because it'd be a totally different question if it's like OGs and shit, because that's a different style. Let's say but now, two OGs and three from now. Oh, jeez. Jada and Styles P. Mm-hmm. Because I smoke mad weed. Mm-hmm. And... You said three now? Mm-hmm. Um... Swipey. Mm-hmm. Fabio. Mm-hmm. And Ether. It's gonna be coming out next year. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should say the name. Um, I don't think so. Not. <laughs>